everything pops with Pringles Cracker Sticks. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 snacks that don't exist anymore. Chocolate lovers, watch out for new Choco Bliss. Oh, what a sweet sensation. For this list, we're looking at some of the tastiest and most missed snacks that are sadly no longer available. What's your favorite discontinued snack item? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, Butterfinger BBs. For years, Bart Simpson warned us that nobody better lay a finger on his Butterfinger. You won't mind if I take a bite of his crispity, crunchity peanut. <laughs> I told you, Homer. <sighs> Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. But when it comes to Butterfinger BBs, no one's been able to lay a finger on them since 2006, not even the Bartman himself. The candy, which is basically a little ball version of the chocolate bar, had a good run beginning in the early 90s. New Butterfinger Baby! <laughs> Unbelievable snackable balls of crispity, crunchy, peanut buttery Butterfinger! But for some reason, we're not sure why, in 2006 they were done. Three years later, they introduced Butterfinger Bites in an attempt to win back fans. And while some surely appreciated the new bite size option, for others, they'll just never be as good as the BBs. Math is easy. Let's say you have 15 Butterfinger BBs, hmm? And I take five of them. What do you have left? One less, sister. Number 19, Pizza Spins. Pizza is one of the most popular foods in the world. And along with real pizza, folks have always had an affinity for pizza-flavored snack items as well. And that isn't just a modern day thing either. This was also the case back in the 1960s and 70s when General Mills introduced their little wagon wheel shaped bites of pizza deliciousness called Pizza Spins. Pizza. They took this pizza taste and turned it into a crunchy, munchy, mouth-sized snack. According to the General Mills website, they use tomatoes, Parmesan cheese, peppers, and pizza spices, quote, to give pizza spins an authentic Italian pizza taste. And it must have worked, because although discontinued in 1975, people are still talking about them today. Can humans resist pizza spin? spin, 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 spin. Number 18, Doodads. Who doesn't love a mixed snack bag? Well, from the 60s through the 90s, and maybe even into the 2000s, one such yummy combination involved toasted peanuts, pretzels, rice squares, wheat squares, and cheese tidbit crackers. It's called a party mix. Well, and, we call it doodads. We always call them doodads around Christmas. We always make these and we give them as gifts. Kind of sounds like Chex Mix, doesn't it? But it most definitely is not. It's doodads from Nabisco, and for decades, it was a very popular snack mix. Then come the 90s, and it wasn't as popular anymore. And doodads became boo dads. Because people who love them were sad to see them go. Awful dad joke aside, if you want to see what all the fuss was about, you could try making your own doodads mix at home. Number 17, Pizzeria's Pizza Chips. While most of us probably associate the Keebler Elves with cookies, back in 1991, those cute little guys took some fresh pizza dough and cooked up the Pizzeria's Pizza Chips. Come on down and taste something new. They're right, Uncle Ernie. In your dreams. Pizza! Bizotic man, chips! New Pizzeria's! The chips made their debut with three flavors. Cheese pizza, pizza supreme, and zesty pepperoni. And they were an instant hit. However, by the end of the decade, the Keebler Company had been sold, and the pizzerias were discontinued. Allow me, boys. <laughs> pizzerias! Tastes like real pizza! That hasn't stopped fans of the chips from trying to bring them back, though. As of the end of 2021, a couple of Bring Back Pizzerias Chips Facebook groups were sporting over 7,000 followers. Number 16, Hershey's Kissables. Now, don't worry, Hershey's Kisses still exist and aren't going anywhere. No, here we're talking about Kissables, which, if you don't remember, were basically Hershey's Kisses with a candy coating. If you're thinking it sounds like a bigger, kiss-shaped M&M and sounds delicious, it was, and it was. Kissable, blissable, laughable, dissable, inable, loudable, eatable, treatable, colorful, candy shell, colorful, candy shell, colorful, candy shell, chocolate inside. So why did they go away in 2009, just four years after they launched? That's because, in 2007, the Hershey Company made some cost-cutting moves that included replacing the cocoa butter with cheaper fats in some of their candies, including Kissables. People noticed, and they did not like it. Sales dropped, and that was the end of Kissables. Number 15, Hostess Choco Bliss. Take two layers of chocolate cake, sandwich a layer of chocolate cream in between, top it off with chocolate icing, and there you have the aptly named Choco Bliss. Whoa, check that super chocolatey icing. Awesome! Ooh, 
Hey, whipped chocolatey cream inside. Build as a chocolate lover's dream, these Hostess snack cakes were a lunchbox favorite of many 80s kids. They sound like they'd be a favorite of ours today as well had they not been discontinued decades ago. Choco Piss, a dream come true. One, two, three, I'm relaxed to see. New Choco Bliss from Hostess. Watch out! We don't know why Hostess gave up on them, but we do know there are online forums filled with commenters lamenting the fact that they can no longer get their hands on this bliss from their childhood. Number 14. Oreo Sippers As we make the move to try and save our planet, more and more countries are putting in place bans on plastics most notably plastic bags and plastic straws. Two of the largest recycling facilities in the U.S. said its machines don't always catch straws. So they end up in the trash and eventually in landfills. And while we wholeheartedly support such bans, we also don't always love the paper straws that some restaurants now use. But you know what's better than paper? Oreos. But you can't make a straw out of an Oreo. Yes, you can, and they did. They were called Oreo Sippers, and they were awesome. Because not only were they a straw, but they were also delicious. Um, is there anything more eco-friendly than actually eating your utensil? Come on, Oreo, bring them back for the sake of our planet. Number 13, Altoid Sours. Altoids and those awesome reusable tin containers are a staple in many of our purses and bags and car consoles. But as good as the regular Curiously Strong mints are, we miss the Curiously Sour ones. Was it a pleasant experience popping them in your mouth? Maybe not. But that was the point. It said sour on the tin, and unlike other so-called sour candies, Altoid Sours lived up to the billing. Mm. So how did you like that? I like that one. I like it a lot. People love Altoid Sours. Will you? But unfortunately, not enough people wanted that sour face puckering experience. And according to a representative from the Mars Corporation, quote, they were discontinued due to low national demand. However, if you are truly desperate, you may still be able to find unopened tins on eBay for the wallet puckering price of up to $525. Remember, use caution when experimenting with Altoid Citrus Sours. Number 12, Pringles Sticks. We all know that with Pringles chips, once you pop, you can't stop. But back in the 2000s and early 2010s, Pringles also gave us sticks. New Pringles Sticks. The crispy cracker sticks with a one-of-a-kind taste. And once we had sticks, we couldn't quit. Okay, so maybe we need to work on our tagline game, but that does not take away from how good these sticks were, especially the honey butter and cheese-flavored ones. Crunchy. Whoa, this one's real good. I can taste the honey. However, while the sticks had a loyal fan base, as Pringles posted on their Twitter account back in 2020, quote, Pringle sticks were discontinued in this sector of the universe due to lower demand. Number 11, Jell-O 123. If you aren't already jealous of kids who grew up in the 80s and 90s, here's one more reason to be, or should we say one, two, and three more reasons. Jell-O 123 was a magical dessert that, like classic Jell-O, came in one packet. However, unlike the OG Jell-O, the 123 version would split into three layers during the three-hour wait time. What could compete with a dessert that actually forms three layers right before your eyes? A creamy layer, a fluffy layer, a layer of fruity gelatin. While we can't speak to the taste, one of the problems with the product was that making it wasn't as easy as 123. Getting the three layers just right required a blender and the introduction of both boiling and cold water at precise speeds and times. Jell-O 123 was discontinued in 1996. Something that your kids would absolutely love, easy to make, and you can also substitute your favorite sugar-free Jell-O gelatin product that you'd like. Number 10, PB Crisps. It began with a nut and a bolt that shook his top hat with a jolt. PB Crisp, an idea for a munch. You just know a snack is missed when there are groups on multiple platforms asking for their return. PB Crisps were one such snack, a small gram that looked like a little peanut, but filled with huge flavor. With graham cookie outside for crunch. Inside a center so sweet, peanut butter cream, oh, a treat. That's because inside there was some delicious peanut butter filling, while PB and J Crisps added jelly, and chocolate crisps were filled with, you guessed it, chocolate. It was the combination of crispiness, sweetness, and er, nuttiness that made us crave PB crisps back in the mid-90s. 
and we would do just about anything to have them back. PB crisp, PB crisp, PB crisp. The sweet taste that is destined for fame. Number nine, Jello pudding pops. Jello brand pudding pops made with the goodness of real Jello. Imitation may be the sincerest form of flattery, but nothing quite beats the real thing. This is a running thread for many of these snacks, such as Jello pudding pops, because it isn't as if frozen pudding on a stick has gone away. It's more that the trademarked brand and that trademarked taste is no more. New rich, creamy tasting Jello brand pudding pops. All the goodness of real Jello pudding frozen on. Jello pudding pops were a summertime staple throughout the 1980s and beyond. A creamy and indulgent frozen treat. The OG pudding pops were lost after General Foods sold the name to Popsicle, which used their own flavoring and production methods. The good news is that you can technically make these at home if you buy the Jello molds, some milk, and a little bit of nostalgia. Jello brand pudding pops, all the goodness of real Jello pudding made with milk, so you know it's wholesome. Number eight, peanut butter boppers. Good old creamy peanut butter's gone. Boppers. Trust us when we tell you that you have not lived unless you've had peanut butter boppers in your mouth. This crispy, creamy, and utterly delicious snack was almost sinful in its ridiculous indulgence. The snack was from the Nature Valley Company, which today is more closely associated with healthy-ish granola snacks. There was nothing remotely health conscious about peanut butter boppers, however. Unless we're counting the protein in the peanut butter? Peanut butter boppers! <laughs> it's creamy peanut butter, a crispy coating, and a whole lot more! Regardless, this creamy PB center was smooth and velvety in texture a mouthfeel that clashed in the best way possible with those crispy crunchies on the outside. Seriously, someone find us some peanut butter boppers. Peanut butter boppers, new from Nature Valley. What a snack! Number seven, Flintstones push-up pops. Push-up pops were around in the 80s and are still around today, but they were at their most popular and according to many, their yummiest from 1990 to 1996 when they were branded as Flintstones push-up pops. Fred, Barney, Wilma too! Something about that modern Stone Age family made pushing frozen treats out of a cardboard tube so much better and that much more yabba dabba delicious. Flavors like Lime Rock Lime and Bedrock Berry were just as good as their puns. It takes a dinosaur to bring you a taste this big. Fruity Flintstone sherbet and creamy cool vanilla. And they even had a Pebbles push-ups line that added nerds candies to the frozen goodness. Number six, PB Max. It don't stand for piggy banks, platinum blonde, pink baboon. Let's face it, candy bars come and go, most without much fanfare. There are some serious calls for the return of the PB Max, however. A Mars candy creation that really was something else. The final form of PB Max wasn't just peanut butter and chocolate, but a delicious cookie topped with PB and then covered in sweet chocolate heaven. PB means peanut butter, real peanut butter. Lots of real peanut butter in pure milk chocolate with a crunch of a whole grain cookie. The most frustrating thing about the PB Max's demise is that it actually sold really well. However, the Mars family reportedly didn't like peanut butter, or money apparently, so they used this subjective opinion as a means for the PB Max axe. What a waste. PB Max, we mean peanut butter. Number five, Cheetos Twisted. It's geometry time. It may seem as if there's a new flavor of Cheetos available every week, so you'd be forgiven if you didn't notice that Cheetos Twisted no longer exist. New Twisted Cheetos Snacks. These curly Q-shaped Cheeto snacks were thicker, meaning more of that finger-staining cheese dust to coat your fingers. They also arrived armed with that patented Cheetos Crunch and were available from around 2002 to 2012, but all good things must eventually come to an end. The Cheetos folks discontinued their Twisted brand, but never fear because the company is bound to create something similar down the line. Deliciously twisted, dangerously cheesy. Number four, Yogos. Kellogg's Yogos just got hit with watermelon splash flavor. Part fruity flavor, part yogurty coating. New watermelon splash flavor Yogos, worlds of fun. Parents will often do just about anything to get their kids to eat healthy, but even the busiest folks have their limits. Yogos weren't trying to masquerade as healthy fruit or yogurt, but instead were sugary fruit-flavored snacks with a yogurt coating on top. They were an acquired taste to say the least, but millennials were on that taste back when they were kids, as yogos seemed to be on top between 2005 and the beginning of the 2010s. 
Slow go on the Yogo. Chewy, sweet, sour, and available in varieties of berry flavors, Yogos were perhaps too unique for this world and burned so bright that they could never be brought back. Ah, what a blast! This like new Go Go Gorilla Mix. Seriously rough stuff. Number three. Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars. Ooh, Philly Snack Bars. Hey, ever think to yourself, I've been good. Why shouldn't I have cheesecake for a snack? Mm, cheesecake. What? This is heaven. No? It was just us? Yeah, well. We have no regrets about devouring this indulgent snack from the Philadelphia people. Small, snack-sized cheesecake squares available to eat any hour of the day. You want the graham cracker bottom? You get the graham cracker bottom. You want sweet icing and fruit laced over that thick cheesecake deliciousness? Shut the front door and eat these slices of heaven in private because we guarantee you're gonna have a moment. We can only hope and pray that the next time we stroll by our grocer's freezer, this classic snack will be staring back at us. Treat yourself to the rich and creamy cheesecake taste of Philadelphia snack bars. Here you go, Fluffy. They're a little taste of heaven. Number two, Hershey's Bites. The Hershey's Company has so many delicious snacks under their belt, it's easy to forget that there's also plenty of forgotten classics. Hershey's Swoops were one, but the penultimate spot on our list goes to the much-missed Hershey's Bites. No, not the candy bites, but this even crunchier and more snackable concoction that came in a variety of flavors. Hey, look who just showed up! Introducing new Kit Kat and Heath Bites. You get the feeling everyone is staring at us. What, is my bag open? Rolos, Kit Kats, peppermint patties, and more were all shrunk down and packaged in a size that was perfectly geared for guzzling. Unfortunately, they posed a choking hazard for some, and most of the line was discontinued. However, Hershey's website does say that limited flavors can be purchased direct, but don't go scouring store shelves for this one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Keebler Magic Middles and ideas that will change the cookie world forever. Melted chocolatey middles in the cookies. Too late, we just did it. New Keebler Magic Middles. If there were ever a snack cookie king, this was the one. The mighty Keebler elves truly outdid themselves when they magically concocted the recipe for the perfect treat. Caught him smuggling melted chocolatey filling out of your factory. Tree. Pretty clever. <laughs> you hid it inside this chocolate chip cookie. Oh, you mean Keebler Magic Middles. The shortbread wasn't too sweet and held its integrity against that chocolatey or peanut buttery flavor core that burst onto your taste buds with the force of a fudgy freight train. Oh, and if you warmed these bad boys in the microwave for a few seconds, absolute heaven. We're not sure if we can go all the way to the top of the Keebler elf hierarchy for some answers, but we are desperate for Magic Middles to be made available again. New Magic Middles from Keebler. Genius, pure genius. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.